Meat Boy is kind of back because there's some bacon in this recipe. I was trying to think of a nice hors d'oeuvre appetizer to serve for a family for Christmas, New Year's, and this was something that my family made years and years ago. I remember having this a couple of times. Simple, definitely like stands in American, very approachable. Everyone's going to like it. And maybe next week we'll do something a little more upscale, like a lamb chop with a mint yogurt, but not everyone likes that. So let me show you guys what you need. And you guys see what I mean by standard American. You got cream cheese, white bread, and bacon. Those are the only three ingredients. We're gonna put some cream cheese on the bread, wrap it up with the bacon, and then pop it in the oven for a little bit. I mean, the cream cheese is organic, but you know, there's still some ingredients in here that you definitely don't want, like locust bean gum, cultures that aren't natural. It's definitely not 100% grass-fed. The bacon isn't organic. I didn't actually notice that. Um, usually I get the organic bacon, which honestly isn't much better, but they're being a little deceiving with this packaging here. You know, they put green on it, so I didn't notice because the USDA organic logo is usually green. You may, very, very, very deceiving. Um, but we do have organic white bread, which again, doesn't have the best ingredients. There's a lot of stuff in here that you wouldn't normally want to eat, but it's better than what most people are eating and your family isn't going to feel too horrible after consuming this. So the only prep you have to do is make sure the cream cheese is room temperature as the white bread can break fairly easily. So then you cut the edges off and depending on the type of bread, you can do this before spreading the cream cheese, but that might make it easier to break. Then we slice the bread in half. Slice the bacon in half. Take a piece of bacon. Take a piece of bread, and we're just gonna roll it up and then stick a toothpick through it. Honestly, this will probably work with any type of bread, even the, the bread alone sourdough bread, as long as you could roll it. I just figured the white bread would be a lot easier to, to do this with. But after seeing how stale this white bread is, I'm sure you could do it with any type of bread. And since this bread is so firm and kind of stale, you now we could even stack all four of the slices and just slice the edges off at once. That's really it. Quick, simple, easy, only five minutes of prep. And as you can see, some of these don't look that great because it depends on how the bacon was sliced. You know, these are kind of nice and almost perfect. The other one's kind of swiggly, but either way, it's gonna be delicious. So I'm putting the oven on 400 because we just want this bacon to crisp up nice and quickly before the cream cheese melts, before the bread gets soggy or anything. Oh, good God. My sister smelled the bacon, so she's already up here, but I'm probably gonna burn my mouth, so. it's been maybe 15 minutes, so we're gonna let these cool for a little bit. Hello, YouTube people. Is it my brother good looking or what? Hello, YouTube people. Well, the hors d'oeuvres have cooled off enough so that my sister will not burn her face off trying them, at least I hope. Yep, because then I won't be able to taste your delicious food anymore. I don't believe you got it. Oh, hot. Hot, hot. Mm. Of course, if you want to chef this up a bit, I guess you can make some sort of like deconstructed version mm. where you can get some like toast points or cut the bread up like nice little squares. Really put good. the cream cheese on with like a bacon puree. I don't know. You can get really creative with it. Mm. But this is a quick and easy way to do it. What do you think, Gina? Very nostalgic? Mmm, really good. And I like the cream cheese really good. Only one more, Gina. Mmm. I'm taking the rest of these, they're good. <laughs> we, don't, uh, we don't negotiate with, uh, oh, I can't say that word on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> so I tell her she can only have one more, she takes three. They're Shows so, how much I care. They're so good. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Oh, 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 oh. Hopefully your family enjoys this recipe as much as mine. Mm -hmm. Quick, mm -hmm. easy. Ingredients you probably already have in your fridge and it only takes a few minutes to make. If you'd like to support me guys, you can go to frank .com. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You're so good. Thanks again guys. Bye little people. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.